Today is D-Day, says hive number one. If it doesn't rain, it pours. It's not looking good. Come on, hive number two. Oh, baby. It can't go on like this. How long can a hive survive without a queen? Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ian's wonderful world of bees. Today is day 64. We're heading down to the hives to see what's going on. 64 days without a queen. Has a queen returned? No idea. It does not look good. In a jiffy, we'll head down, crack her open, take a look. One noticeable difference in the hives is that hive one on the left does not seem to have as many foragers coming in and out. May not appear that way at present, but certainly this morning when the sun was on them, there was a lot less bees coming in and out, which is a little surprising because hive one has got a few more bees, but they've also got a lot more reserves. Here we are, we're on hive number two. Please excuse me from not showing my face. I wanna get you guys right in on the action. So I've got the camera down low. Hive two, let's see what's going on. But before we do, so this was a swarm hive, had a good queen in it, laying like clockwork. But I came in some time ago, we had nine super seizure queen cells. As of last week, we had a handful of eggs, so the queen had obviously gone out, come back, started laying. Today, I want to see more cat brood, eggs and larvae. I'm crossing my fingers. Come on, hive number two. Hopefully all is good. Here we go. This is a frame that we had eggs on last week. Yep, they're capped over. You ripper. Ooh. Oh, check out the other side. Oh, baby. You can't see that, but there's a lot more cap brood there. All right. We'll have a look in a sec. Let's see what the other frame's doing. Oh, yes. Oh, she's, are you kidding me? Okay. Well, there's no queens of gun. However, because the corn is a little bit weak, I think there's a little bit of uh, chalk brood in here. Okay, I'm gonna shake these bees off so I can show you what's going on. All right, oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. Cap brood, a little bit of pollen, a little bit of nectar, plenty of larvae, but there's chalk brood in there. So take a look at this, guys. Take a good look. We have brood. There's a heap of larvae in there, but can you see, can you see that chalk brood? So this is a week or eight days since I last saw a handful of eggs. Mm. So 
No chalk brood on this frame. No chalk brood here. But there are a lot of larvae. Chalk brood, chalk brood. Okay. This is my under tray. I'm taking that out. If I've got chalk brood, I think by memory is not quite enough airflow. So we'll take that out. I did have it three quarters way in, so there was a little bit of airflow there. I'm going to nick off back to the shed where I can disinfect this hive tool because I want to get stuck in a hive one. Okay, I've been down, I've disinfected my gloves and my hive tool. Tom gets stuck in it to hive number one. Now hive number one was a nest box hive from my garden. 64 days ago, no queen. We did have two queen cells. I left those, there was no return on them. Plan B, we placed a frame of eggs from here into here. No queen cells appeared. So I put in two queen cells from this supersedure hive into this one. Last week, nothing, but there are a lot of resources, a lot of nectar, a lot of pollen. Today is D-Day for the hive number one. I'm also removing the bottom tray. Give it a bit more airflow. Oh, hello girls. You watch this hive go crazy. Absolute ferals this lot. It's not looking good. Mm -hmm. There's quite a few drones in here. Had to go for the trusty. Thing. Absolute diddly squat. There are quite a few drones in there, although in saying that, this fights always have drones. How long can a hive survive without a queen? Now I'm wondering, should I combine the hives? Or should, should I purchase a new queen for this hive? I think there are a good number of bees in here still because there has been the occasion where I have placed a frame of brood from here into here. I think it's been on two occasions, maybe only once in the last 60 days. No queens returned. At the moment, it's not looking good. Not looking good. I need to figure out what I'm going to do. My bets are on, I need to get on a blower and try and find a queen. Oh, what? So there you go, guys. 64 days, still no queen. I'm absolutely speechless. Tried three times now get a queen going in there. It's just not working. And to top it all off, you little ripper got a queen in hive too, but now we've got chalk brood. Look, there are two frames that have got cap cells on both sides of frames. So that queen is laying like crazy, you beauty. So I'm hoping numbers will build up now and they should be able to deal with that chalk brood. There's not a lot in there. I probably saw maybe a dozen mummified larvae still in the 
cells. There were none at the bottom. There's none outside. So that's a positive sign. Cross my arms. They'll be good. But I've got to get on the phone and I've got to try and find a mated queen for hive number one because uh, it, it, can't, it can't go on like this. It has not got time for me to throw more eggs in there from hive number two. Plus I don't want to transfer any chalk brood into hive one. So on the phone I get, let's find a mated queen. So hopefully next time you see me, We'll be throwing in a queen.